intermission. This is the part where I assume Carrie while I turn the pages. Carrie, Carrie likes to send the paper resting 2932. <laughs> I think we're live again. You can check. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, God. You just hear me start singing the intermission song. Well, that was the intermission. I know. <laughs> Yep, we're going, we're going again. Okay, okay, we are back again. <laughs> Hopefully this time the game will not freeze after the first cutscene. Oh, Lord, I wonder when it, I wonder when it, I wonder when it tuned in on the intermission slot. It's going to be great. All right, continue. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Cross my fingers. Ah. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the yeah, That is something. That is concerning. That's probably why you're getting this. a brain scan, but still. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Okay. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Uh oh. Simon, please don't make this weird. This is already no, weird. No, no, it's not like that. Mm. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? Because it's a horror game. That's why. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Morning, sunshine. Let's try this again. Hello. Yeah, all right, buddy. Oh. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Just a bad dream. Uh, are we still on for today? Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Well, Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Like for, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. And stuff. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Oh, yeah. All right. There we oh, go. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, look. Hey, sir. Okay, that's cute. I swear, that guy is the memory of a goldfish. Oh my god, look at your little vacuum. You just threw your vacuum across the bed. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, thank you for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we our guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try and schedule a scan session for Saturday. I will get back to you when you're confirmed. Okay. Ooh. That's frequent. Brain slowly recovering. Tell how oh it's how just damage. The bleeding will continue over the next months over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Well like since excessive mm -hmm. stress could be fatal, I have written a prescription from Prozoin Prezo to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accurately. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Better late than never. Yeah, that's fair. Yep, and then. There we go. Right click to get out. I like the little hand holdy, like the little hand gesture thing. Yeah. Oh! This feels a little bit like Resident Evil, I'm not gonna lie. Except, you know, just without the little X button and more of the, uh. Or if they haze, what you can do with things. Aww. Oh, that was your mother who said that. That's so cute. Oh. Oh my God. Yesterday, a, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. Okay. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood dropped in her Oh, crap. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, but with complicated results, believed to have loaded him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV has 
claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Oh, no. Yeah, so that explains the nightmare. It does, and I guess it kind of proves it was actually a nightmare. Yes. <laughs> ah, lights. In the variety. Also, mm -hmm. too, that, that thing was from, like, August 10th, I think. Mm -hmm. And according to the dates, it's like, uh, not August, um, April. And according to the dates on the emails, I think it's like late April right now. Mm -hmm. so it's only been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, God, poor man. Oh, why is there a picture of feet? Just random stuff on his wall. There we go. Oh, like a bathroom. Yay. I don't remember where the um, thing is that I need to drink. Tracer fluid? Yeah. Yeah. I like pants. <laughs> you know, just, yeah. Just on the radiator. Where else are you going to put your jeans? They can be nice and warm for you in the morning. <laughs> the vacuum. <laughs> this, this is cool, all the extra stuff they have in here. Like this extra textures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Hello. Ooh. Mark and Diana and Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation in Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in a thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystery, mystical, and absolutely terrifying hooked will pull you in. Okay. It's just, it's just like flavor um, <laughs> stuff. Yeah, which is cool though. I like that. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Oh boy. This really is like flavor. It's reminding me of in Resident Evil, you can open up all of the end tables. There it is. There we go. Alright. like milk but the taste it's like sucking on a penny oh uh. that's gonna be nasty you know i have to admit it's not quite like sucking on a penny but i at one point accidentally put a wrapper of a hershey kiss in my mouth because it was melting and i was like oh god i put it in my pocket because i was an idiot and i was like oh no oh no it is a <laughs> it's it's melted and I'm in class, and you know, I'm, I'm in like seventh grade, and I find the biggest piece, and I pop it in my mouth, and it's still in the wrapper. I'm like, God damn it. Yep. To this day, I can still remember what it tastes like if I think enough about it. <laughs> it's so weird. Ah, now we're off to the doctor, since we found the medicine and drank it. Yay. Oh, now we're on the subway. Hey, everybody. Good, I guess. Jesse, the Grimmore. <laughs> Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Nah, Jesse didn't hear him. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's oh. Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, yeah. forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Aww. Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. Hey, hey you managed to get a call. Anyway, Hello. Jesse, don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Goldfish Memory. 
No, are we not gonna hear from him again? Probably not. Aww. There we go. I think. Yep, give it a minute. Okay. How's it dark in here? Hello? Hello? Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Um, why does it look like it's in the middle of, like, people are in the middle of moving? Well, this, they said that they were, um, not... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. It's like a gas thing. Yeah. Let's see what it says here. Paul, oh, where are you? You got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Okay. Hey, Paul. I talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's it's not a lab, but they said that we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peek will send someone over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash, so it should be interesting. Hey, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei, and had him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay. So according to that, it's like early May, I think, but still yeah. really soon after the accident. Wow. Five, 2501. Okay. Let's try that. 2501. If not, maybe a 7. Oh, good. Yay! 2501. Bless the fancy ones. Woo! Oh, why is that just hello? It's a little weird the way it's running on its own. Where is it, everyone? I don't know. It's probably just like, you know, running through the code while other stuff is going on. What's on the, um, what's on the bulletin board over there? Uh, Charts and data? Yep. Okay. Hello? Oh, hi! Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Huh? Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. What? Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, that's oh nice. did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. I yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Wait a minute. I thought he, he didn't correct you when you called him Dr. Uh, Dr. Munchie Simon. before. What exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. Okay. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. Oh, so nice. it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> okay, at least learn, even if it's not a success. But that's probably yeah. not a big comfort to this you man right here. a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. Yeah, really. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. Yeah. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely. But we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Oh, that's nice. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? It's kind sure. of... Yeah. Let's get the way started. he kind of moves Take reminds me of the way he does in um, the way the characters do in um, which I call Starfield. Mm -hmm. You know, like kind of the movements to make you seem normal, but also make you a little bit wonky at the same time. Oh yeah. boy! All right, smile for the camera, Simon. Uh, All right, let me just get this out of the way. 
You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Yes. Toronto, Canada, Munchie. Yeah. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat Neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It will hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Huh. Let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Um, Ready? Say cheese. Smile. Ah! Hello? Hello. Um. What happened? Well, I think the worst picture day ever just happened. Oh my god, hello. Oh, oh that's a big that one. Huh? Oh. Mr. Munchie? Oh, this is going great. Hello. Did something go wrong? Huh? Oh! Wow! Oh, the... oh they're yep. blood on the floor. Yep. Oh, God, there's a... What is this place? How did I get here? Definitely the worst picture day ever. Oh, my God. I figure this out. I just need to stay calm. We need to make things worse. Okay. Okay. Automated on lock camera from service console. Ooh, diving suits. And two of them are missing. Yeah. Who the heck is down here with you? Well, maybe Mr. Munchie and I don't know. Service console. Yay. Okay. Good God. Insert Omni tool to access. Okay. Now where the heck is the Omni tool? Is this like your sonic nope. screwdriver? The door is locked. I think so. Uh, excuse me. If this is locked, the window's broken. Oh, okay. Doing well, I think. Making more progress. I have to admit, he's pretty good if he can just, you know, like, pick up a chair with a single hand and yeave it hard enough to break a window. Nope. That's locked. There's water leaking. Yeah, this Well, this place isn't creepy at all. <laughs> oh! 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 Okay, so this is some sort of locking mechanism. Well, it's a really... Oh. Is there Ooh. something moving over there? I thought I just saw yeah. something moving. I don't see anything. Oh, maybe, maybe, okay, I think there was smoke yeah. that got released. Oh, data buffer. Available. Oh, hello. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Are they not take any chances? Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? I don't like the sound of that. Between, yeah. between everything. Oh. oh. Mirror's broken. Oh, okay, that? that's great. Oh, look, there's still a bathroom in case you need, you know, if you yeah. panic enough, you gotta take a panic to pee or panic poop. Yeah, you were saying sorry. Um. Yeah, it's like because earlier when you were setting the settings, you know, you could have it be on safe. You know, there's monsters, perma sealing, mm. keeping them out. Mm -hmm. I do not like the sound of this. I don't like the sound of this at all. Yeah, and why is there black poop leaking from the ceiling? It looks like heck. It looks like you have some sort of like face hugger up there. It was yeah. a little hard to tell. It was a bit too dark, but it, something up there looks not normal. Robot dead. Tech Depot, break room, service station, and storage. Okay, let's try this. Yay! Oh. I don't know if I have a flashlight. Oh, what the? Oh, well. It's like growing into the computer? What kind of monster is that? Unless there's some sort of like, well, I guess they could be like yeah. boys or something. Hello. Hello, boys. Oh, what the? Vision is like flickering. Yeah. It's really hard to see in the dark spots. I don't know yeah. if it's just me, but it is. Oh, hello. Are you like sinking with these robots? Are you? Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Maybe. We are Borg. Resistance is futile. Are you like this? Some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. 
you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell. So uh -oh. I'm gonna shut you down. Oh. Um, oh, dear. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Mm. What the heck? So the robots can talk, apparently. And uh, I, did you activate some sort of recording in that one? I'll have to see. Will we eventually find out? Oh boy. Oh, hello. Yes. Um. Oh, the robot was on here. It's oh. gone. Really, really dark. Can we turn up the brightness at all? Not much. No. Yeah, no, that really did not do very much for me. Oh, oh, oh! oh uh -huh. You look. You can. You can. You can lean. That's nice. Good for seeing around corners. Uh, left oblique, Karch. <laughs> oh God. Ventilation. Oh. I think whatever was there may have gone into the ventilation shaft. Okay. Yeah, honestly, with like, I, I know that these guys are like, you know, seem to be robotic rather than, um, like, you know, fully organic. Oh dear. But the long, spindly limbs and the creepy space imagery and the, um, uh, the way it goes into the ventilation shaft, I'm not convinced this isn't a xenomorph. Some sort of robotic xenomorph. Like alien isolation right in here and... Oh dear. Oh boy. I feel like something was banging on the other side of this door. Oh, definitely. It wasn't really just doing that for kicks. And now we're going to open the door. Of course we are. I keep seeing like the shadows of other machinery in the door and I think it's like some sort of tail that's slithering by but then you go back into the position you just were and it's fine. I'm like, oh, okay then. Oh, the Omni Tool! What's up? Oh, cool. Oh, oh, I see. It's a, yeah, it's like it's a manual. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Onboard intelligence includes open set behaviors and protocols to enable all user to automate routine action through basic logic charts. Oh, nice. We'll automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize error. <laughs> Short range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors, performing complex options, operation on the tools should be physically connected. Let's upgrade the tool. Please slide operators into the main or auxiliary slots. Ooh. It's just a bunch of technical stuff, but... Yeah. Note that introducing something about AI will override the existing stuff. Yeah. Sorry, oh, that's a joke. Uh, can you actually maybe just Google real quick how to turn on the flashlight? Because I feel like there's a way to turn on a flashlight, and I do not know what it is. Yeah. Turn on the flashlight. Unless there is no flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you turn on flash? No, flashlight insomnia. No, 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 not insomnia. Just insomnia. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Evil monsters, where are you? Are you asking where the evil monsters are? Oh. Do you want them to answer you? Because that means that they hear you. It is definitely in the vents. Okay. It even knocked loose two cables that look like tentacles. Time to get a flashlight. Time to get a flashlight. Hello. After complaining about one of the Soma game, your character will be given access to a flashlight. Okay, so. Does that I'll... mean anything to you? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe that will get it later. Mm -hmm. God, this is 
chains. Giggles, press F to pay respects. Pay respects to the attempt to see if you have a flashlight. The answer is no. No. Oh, that's probably it, yeah. That makes sense to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting an upgraded tool chip. Which should let me upgrade. Updating the, the tool. Yay. Okay, so I now have a tool chip, which means I should be able to access this, I think. Seat three, epsilon offline. Or please heat shields. On the character's level of nausea after a mission, and so it's like electromagnetism surrounding pilot helmet, which is believed to be cause oh, of Schmeck symptoms. No indication of what creates anomaly. I just want to like, because I was reading at that there, I want to like read this here because this is going to be important. Because you were. It's mostly just flavor text, but. Okay. Well, I don't know that. I haven't played this game before. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's flavor text and what's not. Yeah. Pilot Carl Schmeck's support, Amy Ayers. Uh... Okay. All right. We, we, we can go down. Yeah. Attention. The pilot system has been increasingly unreliable. Everyone who has been using it the last couple months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours oh and trying God. to direct a help requester. It's not acceptable. No, no, it is not. Figure it out. Time. I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system for now. I have to do more heavy lifting, performing operations through programming because of the labor. No one's happy, so don't bother complaining. <laughs> yes. I don't know what's flavor text and what's not, and I don't know what's going to be important later and what's not. And I know you had it up on the screen, but I was still looking at how to get a flashlight, so I wasn't properly reading what you had. You 
Okay, okay, okay. In use and use. Unknown contamination. contamination. Or, what the heck? And how and how bad is it that you know you're here in like this creepy alien isolation? Uh, uh oh. The gate's broken down. And I just read the unknown contamination, and I honestly just heard it in the little in that little robotic voice from that little robot Mo from Wally. Foreign contaminant. And go oh God, I only wish it was that that gentle. Here we go. Okay, the gates have been broken down. Oh God! Don't see anything else around here at the moment. Lord, even from your angle, you can barely see anything. I don't know if I caught a bad glare or something, but Lord! <laughs> no, it, it's, it's, it's intentional. It's so dark. Oh, there we go. There's some lights. And seaweed. Oh. We're under the ocean. All right. Okay, just in case it wasn't like already a thousand percent clear, this is the worst picture day ever. Data buffer available. Oh my god. <laughs> you are? It belongs to the machines now. Holy crap. <laughs> what are you doing? Nope. This is completely busted. Yikes. I'm surprised it even has any power on. Oh! I'm surprised that Simon did not look at, does not look at that thing and goes like, seriously, WTF. But in all fairness, that's probably the least weird thing that's happened so far. Yeah. God, just imagine being in, in his position right here, right? Wait. That, that, that's that blood? That's fresh blood, isn't it? No, it's black goop. That's black goop. No, let's not get an eye. That was some of us. Uh oh. What's this thing? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Simon, yeah. stop, don't poke it. What was that? Dear yeah, Lord, Simon. He just pulled a bookworm and he poked the weird thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think he may have killed it. Which is saying something, because normally if you poke the weird things, you know, there's a high risk that they'll kill you. But, there, but in this case, you may have killed it. And I, at the very least, I think you fully killed the power. What the hell? Well, it was already off by the time I poked it. Oh. It seems like it got even darker. Oh, Hello. It's a ventilation shaft. Oh, because there's no way this is going to go wrong. Of course, things never go wrong in ventilation shafts. Cue the alien isolation music. Assuming it has any, does it? Does alien isolation actually have music? I don't know. I haven't played it. I don't know either. I feel like, I feel like I've only seen other people play it and they usually talk I feel like it doesn't actually. I really feel like it's not working. I'm surprised you did not scream by the moving light. I didn't. I am too. I was so. I was so. I was so focused on like trying to remember Soviet Wobble's playthrough as to whether or not there was music. But honestly, it's his, it's either his silly commentary, pe the characters actually talking, or him panic screaming. You know how he gets. He puts my panic screaming to shame, and that's saying something. Yeah. Okay, that door was locked. This way it looks like it's open. Okay. What is this goop coming from? Like, is this oil from some... I don't know, but there's also these weird growths everywhere, so... Oh god, it's the mold. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, damn it. What the... Hey, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, bud. Can you hear you? Looks like it's plugged in. Oh. Yeah. It's plugged in. Is it just me or is it struggling? It is. What happened if I... Unplug it? Should 
they not do that? They just What do you need? This is like a human voice coming here. They're like, the people get uploaded into these robots? Oh, did we just shut down that person so we could reboot the power source? I think so. Oh. We can't play them that game, can we? No. Mission power. Oh, I see the buttons. Oh, here we go. Okay. Woo! Oh. Uh, I see we have to think of... You have to figure out the right order to press them in? I think so. Oh, I see. I see. You have to pick them at the right timing. Hello? Cool one. Turbines. Oh! Oh my god, hello. Main power, now online. Unlocking doors. Thanks. I am... Um, I think... <gasps> Whoa. It's alright, it's just, you know, turning on the systems. I will. May, may alert whatever that you're here. Yeah. Lipson, Portugal, Spain, Site Delta, Site Theta, Site Lambda. Oh, Lambda's online. Okay. Oh! oh. Hi! What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? We are! Hey, hey, can you hear me? Are we here? I hear you. Uh, Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Oh, what's your name? I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, <laughs> oh. damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. I am under the ocean. Oh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. There is something seriously wrong everywhere, I said that. I'm sorry I didn't catch that, we lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Oh, damn. Well, well, okay, so she missed the part about how there's something seriously wrong. Which is fair, but at least it's nice to know that there's other people that you can communicate with, not just, yeah. you know, like... Hello. Oh, oxygen's unavailable? That's, that seems problematic. Oh. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah, then how am I breathing? Maybe you're a robot. Oh, wouldn't that be creepy? Can you look down? Like, can you look down? Is there a character mod? There's no, no character mod, son of a beehive. Oh dear. Because, I mean, at least with Ethan and, like, you know, like, with Ethan in first person, you know, you look down, you can see his feet. But here. I feel like if he was a robot, he would have been able to know this by now and would have had some, you know, oh no, he's a human. He's a human. Oh. oh, well, he's at least a human looking robot if he's a robot, and he broke the ladder. Good job. I think this might be where the first monster shows up. Okay. You mean other than just like the background noise and the ventilation rumblings? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, prepare your heart, prepare your blood pressure, prepare your eardrums. I got <laughs> Oh! Oh, hi! Is that him? Yeah. Oh, I'm guessing this is probably because we're playing it on safe mode, but I'm actually, I think, able to look at him. Hey, man! Because in, if you play it on the higher difficulty, if you try and look at them, it, it your screen bugs out. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, no. Oh! God in heaven. I was about to say, oh, God, I think you broke it. 
And then I was like, oh wait, no, you're supposed to do that. And I'm like, wait, I think you broke it some more. Oh no, I cannot decide. Oh, there it goes. Just, yeah, don't look at the enemies because it pisses them off. Okay. Oh god, I think he's, he seems to know where you are. He's coming for you. He heard ah! the noise. Ow. Yeah, ow. Do you have a health bar? Not on safe mode. Okay, well, that's nice. I think this may be, I think this was probably a good call. He knows where I am! Ah! Cut the door, cut the door, cut the door! Close the blast doors! I am limping now because I. Yeah, because you. Because you. Jumped. Because you jumped about, what, like, dip, like 10 feet down? Mm -hmm. Yep, that'll, that'll, that'll rock your knees a little bit. Hello. Huh? Why are you poking it again? It heals me. Oh. Alright then. And then you broke that. Yeah. Oh, lockdown process in this unit. Check terminal for details. Okay. Oh, I need an ID number. Yep. Something tells me Simon Jagged is not an ID number. We know Amy was very, very bored at work. Hello. She did well, though. Like, those are good drawings. Hello. Mm -hmm. oh. Hello. Warning. Crush hazard. Oh, it's not working. Just what you want Just what you want to see when you're at the bottom of the ocean. A crush yeah. hazard. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's locked. Please reboot the workshop if the problem persists. Okay. Also, can we just appreciate the the painful, painful irony of the man saying, oh, they're gonna have, if anything steps in here, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around it. And he didn't even get to finish the entire sentence before he died. Because something presumably got in, had a hell of a time getting around, but made it through anyway and killed him. Yeah. Well, they're, apparently they're, they can get into the vents, so. Yep. I don't know where this is or when this is or anything, but lord. Aliens. Freaking aliens, honestly. Oh, a dead body. Oh god, he's dead? Oh my he's god, dead. it's the first human you've yeah. seen. Hi! Oh, 722. Oh, no. oh no, that's the guy you just heard get killed. Yeah. Oh god damn it, no! Okay, so but we can use his ID, I think. Oh. Oh, sorry, Carl. Oh. Yeah. Power production has been secured. We sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All super, all superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. No. You never got a chance to send it. Oh. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Insufficient power. Shut down one of the two highlighted sections to divert power over to the communications sector. Well, that's nice. So I can go down the hall and turn off that one or shut off this one. Okay. And that's good because you have the, um, you need to talk to that other person again yeah. if you get up. Uh, 
blo this black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly related to the pa to pathos uh, to warden unit WOW. So uh, this station can provide you with the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimum performance, please follow the autogen injectors uh, instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. You're going to stab this in, into the back of your ear, aren't you? I, maybe. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that, game. Simon. Simon, please. Mm. You can throw that awkward moment where Simon can pick up a chair and like yeet it through a window and break it with no trouble, yet cannot open a briefcase. I don't think I can actually use it. It's just having oh. me pick it up and move it around. You have to. I don't think so, no. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it's just more flavor text? Maybe, but um, Seems a little odd, though, that you can just have those things to pick up and move around. Usually there's something else that you can interact with, at least from what I've noticed. Yeah, I guess not in this case. Can you, um, can you pick up the document again? Oh yeah, it gives you a little picture as to what it's supposed to look like. Do you see yeah. those gadgets in the box? Yeah, but I can't pick up the other one. That's, oh, that's what I'm saying. The... Oh, you can't. Okay. So yeah, so I'm guessing it's just for flavor. That's weird that they would have that level of flavor. Mm -hmm. Like the emails and stuff I get. mentioning earthquakes and, and aftershocks. Yikes. Those would so. be pretty dangerous if you have to bomb the yep. ocean. Yep. But now, we have a moral choice to make, and it is up to you to decide what we do. Why are you doing this to me? I want to see what, I want to see what you would do. At least, let me, at least tell me what you would do here. So, we have two things that we can do. Okay. We can... But well, first, we have to talk to this guy. Oh! What are you? Are you blind? It's me. expect you to look like that. You really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and that's my last clay memory. And then you got uploaded to you were remote this controlling one. a robot. Thing. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but man, pretty far fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm sure? you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. <laughs> you get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Okay, so here's what we can do. Yes. We can pull this power yes. switch, which will give power to the console, but it will electrocute this guy, and we can't turn it off. Additionally, we can turn off power to the whole sector, which will allow him to shut down and permanently be, you know, allow him to permanently die, but it will also release a monster into the area. So wait, either way he dies? It, 
No, if you if you turn on this one, he stays on, but he's gonna be electrocuted potentially. Oh. The, there is it doesn't affect the outcome of the game at all. Uh -huh. It's just it's just what would you do? Would you turn on the power and leave this guy to be electrocuted because he is just a robot for like potentially ever, uh, or until this place collapses, which will make it much easier for us? Yeah. Or do we turn off the power to the whole section? Grant him the release of death, but release a monster on us that we then have to sneak around and try and get back over to the console to turn oh, the power on. God damn it! Um, I, I mean, look, he's there in the body. He seems to know that he was injured, so he's probably feeling some level of pain, and we would just be making it worse. <laughs> yeah. So you want to turn off the? Uh, yeah. That that's what I did the first time too. Oh uh, god damn it! So, but unfortunately, we are going to need to release a monster into this area. Oh, well, at least we have the freedom to move around. And you know, we're, it probably doesn't also help we're also on safe mode. That's fair. And it's not like we haven't dealt with having to duck around monsters before. I mean, we just played two Resident yeah. Evil games. Yep. Yeah. And Just uh, be prepared for more panic screaming. You should be the one prepared for more panic screaming. Yeah. You're the, it's your, e oh. If you pull this lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Oh, yeah. You want it bad enough? Uh, sure. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Oh, it's definitely going to be the wrong lever. And is it also the right lever? Although, unfortunately, I can't even say why do we even have that lever, considering I get why we have the lever. And we've got Mr. Monster wandering around right out near the console. Which is also robotic, right? Like, I, I've mm -hmm. seen that right. It's also a robot. It's hard to tell, but mostly. So, either, so remember what Carl just said, you know, that he had gotten, like, robots are not really intuitive, so they have to bath. So, you know, that's why the humans have to kind of jump into them and, like, take control and stuff. But, um, if that, so either that's wrong, or it's right in some cases, but something went really wrong, or these guys got hijacked by something, by something else. Because they, whatever was going on here, they clearly worked with, um, they clearly worked with, ro with robots. Don't look at it, it's less likely to find you. Okay. It's yeah. so basically, you know, it's like a child playing hide and seek. If I can't see you, you can't see me. Hide in corner, cover set. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's sort of like the amnesia where if you look at the enemies, it drives you crazy. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. That would explain the distortion. Yeah, it's much worse in the other difficulties where you can barely look at them without major distortions on the screen. I'll take your word for that. Okay, we got through that much easier than I did my first time, but I was also panicking much more my first time. Okay. In any case, I needed it. Here's another heal blob. I'm gonna poke it. Poke okay. it! If Epic Worm is in here, she would love this. Nope. Oh! Oh, oh god. Restore files. Oh. Restoring. 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 Partial data. I mean, 
Yeah, from when we started. Holy crap! The Luwa relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center. If you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. Alright, we just have to make do. Got to later. What the hell? Hello? Peter, was it? Look, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yeah. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> what I like to hear. Dear yeah, Lord, how long ago was that? I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, all this stuff is bloop, bloop. All that was tied, guys. Yeah. We have 21. Oh. Do you remember which one it was? What, what do you mean? That, that... Oh, I think it was Lambda. Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. Oh, God. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Everything. I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? <laughs> well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No. I mean, where did you work with Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? I think so. Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Uh -oh. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. And one who thinks he's Carl. This is also strange. Yeah. You're telling me. Uh -oh. Uh oh. What was that? What was that? Panic. Whoa! Panic! What's going on? Oh, I God. Think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? saying how he could see his arms and his legs. Yeah, and honestly, I have to admit, I, I was going to ask after you were done with the conversation with Catherine, which I guess is now, I was like, it's gonna, you're going to have your own Carl moment, right? Because it's apparently been like 80 years since you came in. You don't have any memory of how you got here, which, and you can still see your arms and your legs, which seems to be, which matches up what he said. And everything in here seems to be some level of robotics. I was thinking you're gonna be a robot, aren't you? You're gonna be somehow a robot. I'm a diving suit. Right, 
now you're in a, you're a diving suit. Look at it, that. It'll explain later, but I am basically a robotic exoskeleton inside a diving suit filled with that black goop that we saw falling everywhere. Oh. The black goop is called structure gel, and it's used for like building and stuff. Okay. Do you think? Well, it's the good news is there are very few, if any, of those really creepy enemies out here. There's o there's only like occasional like little robots swimming around. Okay. A little like flavor filling. <laughs> they can be hostile, but yeah. usually not. Uh, kind of like a creepy version oh. of that. Oh, hi guys. The fish have robotic parts on them. Of look. course, the fish have robotic parts. Look at them. Yes. I can oh, see, yeah. of course, the fish are roboticized. After everything that I've seen, I am not at all surprised that the fish are roboticized. Yeah. Oh, boy. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm more surprised that the plants are not roboticized, because wouldn't that just be our luck? Yeah. This... I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this roboticization, but it certainly seems to be going outside the what was expected. Hello. Yeah, I saw some, something swimming away up there. It looks, it looks somewhat friendly. It has like a blue light on it. Yeah, you know what else had a blue light on it? Multiple blue lights, in fact. Those creepy monsters oh. that we released. Come in, Theta. You better answer me, Strasky. Turn him on! Amy, where were you? In the fields. I had to leave. He's calling you? It all went to hell. Hold on, Theta. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe? We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Not just Strasky! The machine killed Carl. Ah, oh, shit. All right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the show of the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Rooting for you. Yeah, that also makes some sense because because when you approach those things, you kind of have like a, it almost seems like you're kind of like zooming in on it or like connecting with it. And yeah. Simon seemed really surprised that he was able to do that, meaning it doesn't seem like he just hit a button. Yeah. So that also lended itself to robotic reveals. Mm -hmm. Which actually, it's the name of a trope, robotic reveal. Yeah, oh. I, I just realized, I think I could have also done that with the dead body, but I, I didn't. Um, like the connection thing, like here, like his last thoughts, um, because they because of the um thing in the brain that we saw that we could that we were picking up and playing with. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hello. It's another person stuck in a robot, but that robot is hostile. found his dead body, and then we also found the robot stuck, you know, like, decent ways away from him. Like, what on the world happened there? Why did it happen? And how does he, like... What the heck? He's chasing me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's not nearly as creepy as the other ones, but yeah. he's asking if I have any gel. He honestly, to tell you the truth, it was... I knew he was kind of looking in your general direction, but you were being so calm about it, and Simon uh, said... And Simon said nothing. And I was thinking that the guy was just kind of mothering around. I was like, ooh, nope. there's gotta be here. Ooh, there's gotta be here. Hi! Hi, buddy! Are you cute? Are you, like, supposed to be cute? Yes, he's you a... are cute. And I yes, really hope a... you can say that way. Yeah, he's a cute little buddy robot. He kind of reminds me of those little, like, those little cute flying drones you can find in Abzu. You know, mm -hmm. the one that the, well, the one that the shark eats. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones that turn out to be a little, wet. well, to tell you the truth, the, the drones themselves are very cute. It just also happens that they were made by some not cute people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like a cross between the creepy levels of Hi. of Abzu and what will I know about the movie Underwater. Did you, did you remember hearing or seeing anything about that it came out in 2020? Mm-mm. It literally, there's people who were, it's like a group of people who work on an underwater, like, station. I'm not 100% sure what they do. What they do is not all that important. But they are having some major structural damage. And they need to figure out how to get back to the surface safely. Oh, little guy's following me. Oh. Aww. Another hostile guy. And literally the best thing that can happen because of how deep down they are and how quickly the structure is failing is they put on, uh -oh. they put
put on their diving suits and walk along the floor of the ocean to get to safety. The mm -hmm. problem is that there's a bunch of creepy ass monsters down there, including, spoiler alert, Cthulhu. Okay. Actual Cthulhu. Oh, it's sealed. Oh! Oh, uh, thanks, buddy. Thank you, little buddy. Do we name him? I feel like we should name him. What should we call him? I hate to say it, the first thing that came to my mind was Carl. Okay, we'll call him Carl. Carl! Yeah, the real Carl has been... Uh, thanks, little guy. Yeah. yeah. In memory... A memory of the car. You know what? You know what? You know why that actually does work. It can be in memory of the real of the human Carl because the human Carl did help us also gain access and move forward yeah. in this game, which I just look at. Yeah. Authorizing. Woo! For a really creepy underwater base, it's got some very nice seashell decor. <laughs> Sorry, there's very little comic relief in here. I gotta provide my own comic relief. Fair enough. <laughs> At the very least, I gotta provide your comic relief. Yeah. <laughs> that is my job. I think. I the shuttle still works. Yeah, honestly, after what's going on, I'm surprised anything still works. Oh, God, oh. This... how did I. When did I get a flashlight? Yay! <laughs> All right, press F to pay respects. Two of the human eyeballs because they're finally light. Yeah, but Woo! you hear what he said? It's like, when did I pick up a flashlight? Uh, Which? Uh, it's like a diving light. January 12th, the comet Talos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact, oh, sorry, the impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Well, I guess that's why they are at the mm. bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on the surface platform o Omega, which is which under the circumstances is a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow Overseer K, uh, K for Queen. So the surface was completely wiped out. Dear God. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. Yeah. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. Oh. It's just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted a picket fence, big family, you know? Uh. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated oh from you, God. I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. Yeah, and there might not be any more for I Kama. Mind. Admit, what is at least a little bit nice about that video not only that you know he was able to say that and, pro and since he 
there it was there on the tablet it did get through to it did get through to at least one of the stations and probably did yeah. get through to her so she was able to get some closure with him okay we can't get in there it looks like oh but it does at least confirm that other people um on the surface made it out because honestly from yeah. the first like impact report it sounded like it, like the people at pathos were the only people who were still alive maybe like, but crap. but the question is did, are they still alive or was it only like a temporary survival yeah oh, there's a hole we need to find a way to restore the power like she was talking about which because we can't even get into the um submersible yeah i will i do agree with that like we have no idea what the situation is with anybody else on the surface but heck we barely even know what the situation is down here and what we've oh. seen is certainly not good. Hello? Hi. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. No, no, no. Can I help? You don't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. How are you I was going to say that. Anything I can do? If you see Masters of Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Yeah, you're Amy. Amy needs help. Oh my god. Alright, who's who's ready for a moral choice? Not me. What do we have to do now? We need to unplug at least one of these spikes okay. to restore enough power to get out of here. Uh -huh. But we can but well, let's just remove the first one and show you what happens. No. Shit. Are you okay? No! Are you okay? I'm not sure she was okay at first. I wanna go home. This, she's, she's not, she has such damage that the, that the stuff growing made her artificial lungs. And as you can see, the power is still flickering. Uh, and so we have a choice. Either leave her alone, down here, alone, plugged in, with only half the power she needs, un until this place collapses, or what have you, or mercy kill. And unplug the second one, allowing her to finally pass away on her own. So what happened? Like, here's the thing, though. If you don't unplug her, what else can you do? Is there another power station around? No, this is the only thing. Re regardless of what we do, the tram will crash on the way, either from lack of power or due to an obstruction. But if we if we leave it like this, she will she'll just be stuck here in this cave on her own. And since she's the first human we've seen, it's unlikely that we're gonna find it. Mercy kills probably such an option for her for her because we don't know if we're gonna be able to find anybody. We like if we can't even get anywhere to go find anybody if yeah. we can't go. And and yeah. We probably can't even bring them back here. Yeah. And I don't know if there's anything I can do. Yeah. So and she was like, it won't let me die. Yeah. So. I know she wants to go. Oh my God. Yeah. Ready. I feel like that's kind of a moral choice you almost have to make, though, right? Yeah. It's... Oh, God, the goo. Oh, God. As you can see, though, it grew into her lungs and then made her a new pair. Yeah. And it, like it said, no, it, that's, that's part of the reason why everyone's in robots. It doesn't let them die, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like some weird organic robotic mesh. Yeah. Stuff, mm -hmm. which is yeah, we'll learn more about it later, I'm sure. But yeah, but yeah, I'll be honest. I also decided that to unplug both of them because it's like we haven't seen anyone. This is a very deserted station. She was the last person from the station that we were just at, and if no one has come for her by this point, yeah. especially when you know they were talking about like potentially bringing the cavalry. Yeah. Did we listen to this one? Oh, oh we yeah, did. yeah, we did, we did. I'm at the shuttle, but it's not looking I mean, it, Here's the thing, if you didn't, if you didn't unplug her, what could you have done? Like, it sounds like you can't even progress if you didn't do that. You have to unplug one, but you, you have, have to unplug one, okay. Yes, but you, ha but you had the choice to leave one plugged in. Can I not open this? I was, okay, I misunderstood what you had said. I thought that you had to unplug both. No, sorry, that was the choice. You can either unplug one or you can unplug both. 
Uh, you unplug one, gives you enough power to start the tram. But, oh, 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 ow, oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ, what the hell? That was what was happening each time we were poking it before. We just couldn't see it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, but, yeah, so... sorry. Sorry for the lack of clarification. You, can, you have to unplug one to get enough power to start the tram. But you can leave the other one plugged in and her basically struggling to breathe in that room Alone. forever, basically. Yeah. Or you can unplug both and let her finally die. Because of, because like she said, she's probably been there for potentially years. And there is, and no matter what happens, whether it's half power or full power, we won't make it anyways. Yeah. Ah, this is the, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I wonder why on earth the illusion's broken a little bit for Simon, where he now, I guess now because he's in a different state of being, why he now can see that his finger gets sucked into the pokey thing. I don't know. Oh! Oh, well, look at that. We. Confirm! Departing for Lambda. ETA, two minutes. Welcome to Pathos 2, Oop. your expressway to the stars. Or the bottom of the ocean. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gundam, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Um, because it's not to be important. Well, okay, it's not unimportant, but still, it's a weird flex. ...to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. That chair doesn't have seatbelts. Why does the chair not have seatbelts? If there is, if, come on, it's, it's 2103. Oh, I think I'm whipping again. At least, you would think by this point we would learn that if you're going to put any sort of chair in any sort of using the moving vehicle, put a goddamn seatbelt in it. Why do we not know this? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. That's weird. Right. No, I'm not alright. What the no. hell happened in the world? Why are we underwater? Oh, you really are safe, aren't you? Yes. Hey, don't worry about that right now. I am very worried about that right now, please. Close just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? No problem. Uh-oh. A lot. Oh, Catherine. Please. Catherine? You okay? She already hung up, buddy. Oh, I have to admit, for someone who, you know, was told that he has to be very careful to avoid deep stress so it doesn't actively kill his brain, and is on probably some pretty strong anxiety medicine in order to deal with that, uh-oh. 
it, having to wake up in this situation. Oh my god, that yeah. is so much worse. But it heals me. I know it does, but it looks like Returnal. Yeah. It's making me think, it, it looks less like the, like the, oh, you poke it, and you know, you just, you just do a thing. It's like, oh, that's nice. And now it looks more like the way Returnal, like, grabbed onto you and started to, like, yeah. make all these mutations to you. And it is, yeah. the Omni tool back in the shuttle. Oh, 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 wait, can you actually go back for it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, to be fair, we, we just crashed, so... That is fair, and he got thrown out. Well, he got thrown into the windshield, and we had to eject the front of it, but yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Uh, is that kind of scripted that he has to forget that? I could have grabbed it, but I actually went for... Oh. Um, why is that? Oh god, the screen. What's glitching? Why is it glitching? Is there a monster there? No, but I thought I saw something standing up there. A figure or something. I don't see anything now, so... Nothing will attack me here. I know that for certain, but... Okay, well, let me just pick this up. monster and all that we were seeing was just the sh crashed shuttle. What? I don't, I don't know. What? Why are you not getting to do now? I do know, but I'm not spoiling because it is story related. I'm debating whether I should tickle you or not. Please don't. <laughs> This whole game is about building tension. I mean, for a while there, it's like there was all this tension, but we didn't actually see an enemy until after we turned turned this the power system back. Yeah, I know, I know. We just heard it. Oh, okay. I thought we had to go out that way. Okay. <laughs> I feel I feel like there's just this. Uh, Simon. Simon, please. I understand you may or may not still have some brain damage, but I don't think you forgot about how big the ocean is. Excuse me. I'm just gonna be bouncing my way across the ocean floor. I guess there's somewhere to have a little bit of fun. Whee! Also, we must be really deep if it's this dark under the water. Oh yeah. I mean, and also too, I feel like it doesn't take all that much for, like, I feel like it doesn't take all that much for you to get deep enough, you know? Like, you may be in a portion of the ocean that's, like, relatively shallow, but it could still yeah. be so... 350 dark. meters, potentially, or maybe that's just how far it is until you get to, uh, <laughs> Lambda. There is something that's kind of funny about the, um, excuse me. The fact that even though they have this, the tunnel systems and all that stuff, they still were just like, oh yes, let's put on some uh, glowing signs that say how far away the base is, just yeah. in case there's Sorry. outdoor tourists. Okay. Sorry, I, this wasn't true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lambda! Yay! Yeah, in case of outdoor tourists. Outdoor but... tourists coming along the bottom of the ocean. Go away! Somewhere over the rainbow? Way up high, which is the opposite of where we are right now, because we are down deep. Mm, we need something else then for over the rainbow. Somewhere under the ocean, <laughs> way down deep. Yeah, 
Oh. Robot. I found it. Yay! Robots under the ocean. Really, really clean. <laughs> <laughs> This is more of what I was expecting with the um, visual distortions. Oh, but ah, ah. Feels like the whole place is about to come down on you because it's shaking so much. Where'd it go? Yeah, really. Hello. Ventilation shaft? Part two? Oh. Oh, hello? Catherine? Hey, down here. Uh, oh, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Simon. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. Isn't it? Sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. And what do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left. <laughs> don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. I do like her. <laughs> I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. Well, I'll have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. I have to admit the reveal of the way she's saying you're walking, when talking, the diving is suit. Loaded, just plug my cortex chip is, into the tool. It's kind of like it's so like it will be obvious. Non, for you. you know, it's, it's so anticlimactic. Yeah. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Maybe it's supposed to get some more depth as things kind of like get better explained, but my the God. Omni tool is ready now. It should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. What is a robot chip for the door open? It's standardized connect. Oh. Uh, Catherine? Catherine? Oh. All right. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I was thinking that she had... Okay, I got you. She was giving you the cortex chips, but the tool. You have the little gloves on it. Cortex chips found. Shutting down. Have a chance. Have a nice day. Oh, bye, Dave. That's pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. Hi, Gavin. And the Omni tool? Thanks. Oh, my God. So we have a fairy companion. Yeah. Wow. Oh, well... I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save from, uh, well, all of this. Okay. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first. Why? It was really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important and it was officially named the Ark. That's that is very appropriate. How far did you get? A pet project. Oh, no. That's what she says. That I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. Yeah, no so kidding. talking robots. Are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> What's so that I thought you said sassafras. I'm not sure who has some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. I give. So, yeah, especially what now that we don't have to. you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was Yeah, back it's good. Tell her it was back from that time. Any info on the die cap? Because Lord, we could use them. <laughs> oh. something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. <laughs> God, that really shouldn't be funny. Why is that funny? Okay, I think that it's going again. I'm not seeing any visual distortions. Okay. Um, I like playing, I think this was a good choice of playing on this mode. Yeah. Because then we don't have to, because then it, I mean, since you've played it already. There's that, and it gives us a chance to better focus on the Just story. The yes, look for anything about the Ark. Well, well, that's nice. Stay with, um, Ark. Ooh! Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Huh. What are your thoughts on the arc? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about... The Ark reaching space? Well, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem. How to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing. And Hope Fi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not gonna be easy. So this is all so pretty, um... Early. Be, yeah. And Lord, it could be... Not only... Who only okay. knows how far it's... What are your thoughts yeah. on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Yeah, really. Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform. Oh. Which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny. But a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest mm -hmm. belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Okay. Alright, I'd say, um, interesting. Hello. Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's a whole lot than this place. Uh, oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> I guess if there's any, uh, ooh, cool. I guess if you can make it a digital world, why not make something gorgeous? I mean, yeah. that look, that honestly looks like it could have been in a Ghibli film. It makes me mm. think of what the castle of Lapita looks like, could possibly have looked yeah. like in its prime. Welcome, if you're reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. Yay! Oh, this is just a, we can take this if you want, but it's basically just a survey of, like, the questions people will be asked when they're in the Ark. I am a little curious, yeah. Okay, let's just not read everything out. How would you describe physical condition? Um, I feel normal. <laughs> Yay! Save it. 
Mm. Yeah, that's a fair one. Yeah. How would you describe your senses? Definitely, you kind of have to be. There's monsters around. Yeah. Sensation of your new condition. You're no longer strictly humid. New experience. Like a new chapter, your turn. That's fair. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? I didn't say thank you for participating. Oh. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. <laughs> Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Right there. Please let it be safe. No, not there. Oh! Just outside of Omicron. In Tau. Okay. Okay, right up there. And I like how it's zooming in on the sections for you so yeah, you can really pinpoint found it. it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's our Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Oh, no. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. How did it we got end? To, like, could, could we get on the ark? What time I is suppose, it? But I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I can carry you. I can put you in my pocket. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the dark. Yeah. I'll just carry you there, and you'll show me what to do. Yay! That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. What's your other Come option, Captain? Captain? This is what Please? you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the ark. We would need to find a way to get into the abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? That is there. Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that could take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Please. I won't forget. How awkward would that Can be? I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. The thing is, she can't talk when it's just the Omni tool. Aww. And and from as she will describe it later, um, she it's sort of like she jumps from the moment you um you unplug her to the moment you plug her back in. It's sort of like a continuous. Yeah, that does make sense because that I mean we kind of saw that when she like. She ejected herself in the middle of the statement, and then when you plunge her back in, she yeah. finished the statement as though nothing had happened. Yeah. Woo! I don't know where that other creature went, but... No, it's like, it won't last very long, a couple decades at most. It's like, yeah, but still, everything then is tagged with 2103. I don't think we still, we still don't know, like, when the current thing is taking place. Yeah. Like, a couple decades to have already passed. Maybe. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, all right. Yeah, I mean, heck, everything could have been, you know, like 10 years or 10 days. Yeah. Oh! Something shiny! Bottom of the ocean! <gasps> A little shuttle. Cause... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I can see why they haven't looked at words like that, but it does look like. What? What is this? Maybe it looked like a normal, like, you know, horizontal hey, company going out of the road. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Catherine! Catherine! Sorry, it's dead. Ah, damn it. Where's the shot? Oh, it's the CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. It looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. That sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. 
great. Can you use it like some sort of dousing rod or a, you know, like the sensor on the perma pad? Fine. Nah. Oh, that would be pretty fun. Yep, but it at least gives me security clearance. Fine. So, yes, here, find me shuttles. Thank you. Oh. Um, I don't know if this guy's. Oh, he doesn't look hostile. Carl? Carl 2.0? Uh, nope. Doesn't have the clear surface on it. Aw, bye bye. Bye bye, um. Can I actually do anything with it? Or... Follow it around and make it. Make mm -hmm. it run away from you? That's something, at least. Yeah. Oh, we're near the, um. The tram system. Okay. I don't know, but it was just standing there in front of me, and now it's gone. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I see something. Is this the ship? Oh, I probably needed, needed the access from her to get in here. Yeah. So even if I came exploring, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. As is the case for this game. I, uh, it's fair. I, uh, it's fair. <sighs> Alright, where am I now? You oh. are under the water. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You're welcome. But I'm in the ventilation system of this underwater wreck. Well, I, I feel like that, can you really call it a ventilation system at this point? Like, I feel like it's Vent a water system? Sure. A vent a water system. <laughs> with a broken roof. <laughs> There is, there is, there is no way this villain is fulfilling anything resembling its intended purpose. I mean, look, at least the ladder still works. Yeah, at least the ladder still works, and at least I was able to use it to get through that piece of the wreckage. But, oh. yeah, the ventilation system is, there's no help for it whatsoever. <gasps> what just happened? I don't know. I don't know if we're hallucinating it or there's some monster out Dear here. Dear God, and honestly, whatever happened, you couldn't even tell what it was. It was like there was a dark split in reality. For yeah, a there was a dark figure. You couldn't really see much of it. Then it teleported closer and now it's gone. Dear God. Oh, I think we found the wreckage. Okay. Oh. It's a big wreckage. This actually makes me, oh God, it's make me, remind me of a trailer for a horror movie I saw the other day called... I think it's coming out in uh, 2024. It's called Night Swim. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an evil fit. There's like an evil entity or spirit that seems to be haunting a swimming pool. Because why not? Look up there. Another one of the little oh, subs. Oh, nice. So there is one, but we gotta get up to it first. Yeah. Jump. <laughs> Need to find. The oh, hello. Oh. You're in a diving suit. I'm surprised you can't like swim. Well, if there's robot parts in it, maybe I'm too heavy. I mean, I'm able to walk along the bottom of the ocean floor very easily. Maybe, yeah, maybe, funny. maybe I'm too dense to actively swim. You know, sort of like an old, old-fashioned diving suit that you, that just you know lets you sink straight down. <laughs> like the one that Thomas Zane had in Alan Wake. Potentially. Yeah. Oh, that's Which there. Is that? He's broken. Which one? That one is um. His was. Probably like was had to have been like from the sixties, so it was definitely an older model than what we would see today. Also, fun fact: um, if the uh, pictures I saw were accurate on on the uh, wiki page, because you know almost every fandom has a wiki page, which is a lot of fun. Um, Thomas Zane's like diving helmet. It was very, very similar to something that featured in the James Bond movie. Yeah, uh, what the? Okay, just, just, uh, just we're, in. we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. Also, let's find some floating. What, what the heck? Lunchboxes? Lunchbag? What, what are those? Just trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the perfect thing you need underwater. A fire extinguisher. Well, you know, if there's a fire somewhere in the ship, you 
probably want to use a fire extinguisher rather than let the ocean in. But you don't need it now. Oh, now oh, we need... Oh, oh, oh. oh, dear. Something's in here. See how well that works. Okay, it's over there, so let's try going over here. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to be or what it's going to do, but we just need to remember not to look at it okay. because that will piss it off. so it is nearby. Okay. Oh, we're doing great. <laughs> we're doing fine. I'm sorry, I don't necessarily remember where to go in here. No, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just thinking about Simon. I'm just thinking about Simon being like, you know, even if he's in a even if he's in a state of mind where he doesn't have to worry about his brain actively making him bleed out anymore, he still thinks like that, right? So he still thinks that he has to be calm enough to handle that, like calm enough to like to deal with the situation so he doesn't get killed by his own brain damage. Yeah. Yeah. I do think worst comes to worst, if I just if I just don't look at it and hide in the corner, I should be okay. At least somewhat. Oh, just, yeah, just imagine going through thinking, you know, even if, even if there's a part of you that knows it may no longer be true. You know, just there's a part of you thinking, just stay calm. Like, I'm, I'm here, you know, like a hundred years in the future. I'm stuck at the bottom of the ocean full of murderous robots. I need to stay calm so I don't die. But there literally is no way to stay calm properly in this situation, right? Like, Lord. <laughs> Healing thing in here if I need it. I'm sorry, I do not know where to go in here. It's been a while. Oh, boy. Well, this kind of adds to the fun, doesn't it? We. There's, there's nothing about this that's okay. Dear God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ah, run away. Run away. Climb the ladder. Very calm. Oh my God, man. He climbs that ladder very slowly. Okay. Okay, I think I know where we are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. We've made it to the sub. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Okay, if you're hoping there's not a monster in the sub, that'd be all right. Hi, Gathered. Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Woo! Oh. The little spores down there look like paw prints. Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's like the power of the sea. <laughs> Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Thank you, Gathered. Maybe there's an override or something. There's monsters out there, like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. 
Just, you know, yeah. psyching myself up. I'm still human yeah. enough to need a pep talk. I was, do you think that's a good place to potentially stop? I we, think so. Yeah, we resume the exploring of the sub next time. Yes, yes, and the, yes. Tune in next time for more Panic Screaming at the Bottom of the Ocean Part 2. Whatever we decide to name that. Yeah. Uh, but for now, we have to say good night, to Internet. Yes, almost. Almost. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ah, that face looks worse. That looks so much worse than what we saw before. Yes. Good night, Internet. Good night, Internet, on that horrifying note.